Well, it is officially day two here in Dubai. We have the Atlantis Thoreau sitting behind us. Very cool building, very cool architecture. And the top penthouse suite in this building is 49 million US dollars. And if I had 49 million dollars, you know exactly what I would do. I would not buy that, I would buy two Koenig eggs. And it just so happens we are filming two of the greatest Koenig eggs in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Well, that is a two car combo, SF90 in yellow and the SV Roadster and the SV Roadster. <laughs> All the cars here in yellow look so crazy. We are standing on an island that is man-made that 30 years ago was not here. We'd be in the middle of the ocean right now. We're on the Palm Jumeirah. Only in Dubai do they have an island that is man-made shaped like a palm tree. I kind of sort of dig it. Okay. That color in Dubai is so good. It's all about the aesthetic, not about the practicality. I mean, that is basically a bunch of Lego blocks stacked up. Purple colon, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Here, ladies and gentlemen, you know what is under that cover. Oh my goodness. Are you actually kidding me? What? As far as a one-two punch, this is pretty hard to beat. I mean, you got the Koenig Sigiesco next to the 140 Bugatti Devo. This is actually the first customer Koenig Sigiesco in the entire world, and the spec on this car is crazy. The full orange interior. Now, the OGs of the OGs will remember, this is a very, very, very special car that I actually filmed in London, I think in the year 2017. This is the Agera R Zijin, and yes, this is factory purple paint. The Zijin is car number 90, for my car is car number 99 so it's a very good chance that while my car was being built this car was also being built and this purple is so incredibly beautiful one of my favorite details is this right here the fade from purple to gold with the Koenigsegg and as I mentioned I filmed this exact car in London like eight years ago so this is a one of one it's the Zijin maybe I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I know you guys want to see the Agera and the Yesco next to each other. So we're going to move the Rolls Royce, we're going to move the Bentley, and we're going to park two of the greatest cars of all time side by side. The purple and gold is absolutely beautiful. I don't know exactly how this has happened right now. I was definitely not expecting this. We have the keys to the Yesco. You're going to push this two times, and the driver door, I might have done that wrong. Oh, 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 no, I did that right. The driver door is going to pop right open. I mean, that is... That would never get old. If I owned this car, I would just open and close the door for no reason whatsoever, and we're gonna sneak on in the Koenigsegg Yesco. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. So we're gonna put the key right here. It's gonna magnetically attach, and then, I have no idea what I'm doing, engine start stop button right here. <laughs> Out here in the sun, this interior completely comes to life. All the carbon fiber, this thing is absolutely mesmerizing. The squad, the Koenigsegg squad, the ghost squadron. We are in the Yesco attack. This is absolutely out of control. So we're gonna push forward into reverse. And of course, we also have to move the Koenigsegg Zijin so we can get the full head-to-head -head ignition on, let it prime. This is so insane. The fact that I'm behind the steering wheel of the Koenigsegg Zijin. Okay, music's on, turn that off. Cold starter. I know exactly what I'm doing in this car. In the Yesco, though, I had no idea what I was doing. So we are going to close the door manually because 2013. Seeing these two cars together out underneath the Dubai sun is absolutely crazy. This purple is absolutely glistening. One of the best colors I've ever seen. And to see the evolution of the two cars is crazy. In the comments below, what do you guys think? Yesco or Koenigsegg Agera? It's hard, to say, it's hard to say one is better than the other. Obviously the Yesco is the updated version of the Agera, but there's something about the original car too. The wing on the Yesco though I think takes the cake. Gareth Nation, obviously you are fairly impressed, but there's still just nothing like the Zijin. Two car combo, yep, I'll take both. Now every single time you're around a Koenigsegg Yesco, it is an obligation to engage full ghost mode, the full Transformers mode to watch this thing open up in action. It's so crazy how much faster this opens up compared to the Koenigsegg Regera, of course, the first Koenigsegg that had the ghost mode. If I could take one thing from the Yesco and put it on my Agera, it would definitely be that. That is just like the ultimate party trick 
to see this thing opened on up. But one thing about the Yesco, the hard top does not actually stow up front, whereas on my car it does. So this is more of a two for one. This is kind of just a one on one. But you can see the front intake right there, how the air flows up through and then out this vent on the hood. And you can see the cooling fans down in there too. Also note, you can adjust the headlamps right here. I guess that's to reduce dazzling maybe. And we are gonna close this, double tap that, bada boom, bada bing. I love the speed of the mechanism here on the ghost mode. We're gonna close the back. We're gonna close the doors, do it manually. That thing, all right, you guys wanna hear it. I do too. One of the coolest features of the Yesco is how the instrument cluster actually rotates as you turn the steering wheel. You can see the blinkers here on the steering wheel as well. Front and lift right there. And we have all of our different driving modes here on the center console. You got your wet snow mode, your comfort mode, your track mode. And if you click, oh, no, 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 no. Only on the track, not on public roads. You can turn traction control off. You got your power output levels right here. You got your engine temperature, oil temperature, your gearbox temperature, your torque, and of course your boost. So we're gonna let the car warm up. And then don't worry, you're gonna hear the V8 sing momentarily. Now you might have noticed the Yesco is slightly low here on fuel. Well, here in Dubai, you can actually get fuel delivered here on the spot. We're gonna shut off the car, we're gonna fill it up with fuel, and then we're gonna rev the beast. We're just gonna scoot on inside, push the stop button right there, take the key out. And just like the Regera, the fuel tank, you actually have to open up the rear deck lid. So every single time you fill up your Koenig seg, you gotta flex the beast. I just cannot get over how incredibly beautiful the engine bay is on this car. I mean, the engineering, the level of detail, the craftsmanship. I have never seen an engine bay more beautiful in my entire life. And here on the passenger side, you can see where you fill up the car with fuel. So on E85, this car pushes 1600 horsepower and then on regular pump gas, only 1280. And when I say only, obviously I'm being sarcastic, but it's so crazy with E85, the performance upgrades. And that's one of the unfortunate things about my car. This car also has the E85 power upgrade. So this car pushes 1200 horsepower, whereas my car is around 1,030. I don't think I can actually get an E85 fuel system. Maybe Koenigsegg would do that. I gotta make a phone call. And yes, as I just said, you can actually get a fuel truck to come to your house to fill up your cars with fuel. I've never seen this anywhere, only in Dubai. It's just too easy here. Just fill the car up with fuel. Bada boom, bada bing. We got full power. I think you might have to rev it, Sophia. Are you ready? I think, yeah, you're definitely down. This is the best two-car combo in the world. It is. It's so amazing. A Guerra or Yesco, though, it's so tough because the spec, I know, right? There's something about the original, something about the OG Koenigsegg because when the Aguera first came out, that is when my jaw hit the floor. Seeing the Aguera, the CCX was amazing, the CC8S was amazing, but the Aguera was the car. This has got to be the coolest two-car combo we have ever filmed. In the comments below, are you taking Aguera or are you taking Yesco? I'd imagine the younger audience is going Yesco, but I bet the older audience is taking Aguera because back when this car came out in what, 2011, give or take, this car was the car that put Koenigsegg on the map. There's only 58 Aguerras in the entire world. This is car number 94. This is car number 200. It's so crazy to be a part of such a small family. One of 125, it has the coordinates to the factory in Engelholm, Sweden. And Sophia, it's very important to notate, speed limit with winter tires, only 149 miles an hour, okay? So next time you're driving, your cutting seg in the winter only go 149 miles an hour but you look nervous right now nervous. yeah this car is worth five million dollars plus at least give it just a little tap a little baby rev oh. okay okay yeah that's how you do it all right oh my gosh that sound is so incredibly good what a couple more stuff just a couple more my, my. That is a factory exhaust as well. That's got all the restriction. That sounds crazy. So With the restriction, can you do a couple more of this right here? The fastest revving engine in the world. I mean, the view of the Yesco is second to none. The wing on the attack is just out of control. And the sound of this twin turbocharged V8, I cannot get enough. What an absolute monster. Couple more. Let's hear this thing. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. The Let's go. And now that this engine is under the sun, just look at this purple paint. I am getting so much in, but you guys know purple is my favorite color, and the spec on this Agar R is simply unbeatable. I can't take my eyes off this car. The Koenigsegg Zijin. There's a mountain in China called Zijin, which means purple and gold. And that's where the spec of this car comes from. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, you hate to see her go, but goodness gracious, what an opportunity. Massive shout out to the owner of the Agera R Zijin. I can't stop looking at her in the rear view mirror.
What a beautiful car. That spec in Dubai under the sun. That color is so good. What do you guys honestly think of the Ferrari SF90? The car's got a thousand horsepower, but the craziest thing about this car is that values are getting absolutely destroyed. There was a time during peak COVID that was a million dollar car, and now it's probably half of that. I feel like I've seen more Lamborghini Huracans than any other car. That guy definitely rented it. You can see that was the that was the renter, like, hello, hello, my first I'm time. I'm driving a Lambo. Lamborghini, I don't know what it is, but it goes boom, boom. I dig the Ferrari F8 Tribuno, but the brakes are very, very squeaky. That is one of the most embarrassing things, but yeah. I can relate to it because my Veyron had it the squeakiest so brakes. It was yeah. so awful. This guy is balling out on a date with this girl in this F8. I'm filming it and squeaky brakes. It's all right, dude. That's a sick car. I think I might get an F8. I'm officially done filming Lamborghini Urises. This one has a nice wide body kit from Cavani. You can see the carbon fiber. You can see some more carbon fiber. Sophia is done with Urises. We're not done filming. No, There's we're done. There's one right there. There's another one? There's one here. They're literally everywhere. Everywhere you look. Blue Urus, yellow Urus, green Urus. I'm finished. There's no, I'm no done. other cool I'm cars. done. I'm done. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget it. It is disgusting. And I love Lamborghini, but I'm over it. We're out of here. You know, it's about time, Dubai. It is about time. Blue carbon sheer on. This is actually the first Street Park Bugatti Sharon we have seen in Dubai. The parking job is maybe not the best of all time. That thing though is quintessentially Dubai. You gotta love it. Well, this pretty much sums up Dubai. You got the purple Brabus G-Wagon with that orange interior. Some people are gonna hate it, but you know what? I love it. Also, purple STO, a Ventura right there. I think I might need to get a Brabus G-Wagon someday. If there was one car in Dubai that I would say is quintessentially Dubai, it would be that car right there. You got a sheer on park to block down, and you got that guy. It's so incredibly quiet in here. We're not gonna say anything. Hey, I'm G1. We're gonna sheer on the But look at that. This dealership is so quiet. You can hear a pin drop. You can actually hear our feet squeak. This Sion right here is one of the coolest Sions I have ever seen. But look at that. This thing, this is so insane. This is so crazy. It is full carbon fiber Brabus. This is cool. Really cool. This is so cool. I don't know why you need this or why you have this, but I want it. I was definitely not expecting to see a Lamborghini Diablo in matte black here in Dubai. BT Roadster 99, what? Now this is probably the most non-Dubai car I ever imagined to see. A 99 BT Roadster finish in matte black. Well, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video here in Dubai. I will see you guys tomorrow for a very, very, very special video. More to come. Well, I don't know exactly where we are or how we ended up here, but the funniest part about it is the 911 Turbo S also ended up where it didn't want to go. But you know what? We're in the Mercedes, we're in the rental car, and the fastest car off road is a rental car. Look <laughs> at that guy. He looked at me so ridiculous. He's like, how did I end up here in the Dubai? That's oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're totally fine. It's a rental. Don't worry about it. We're gonna totally get this thing stuck in the sand. We gotta get to the airport momentarily. 